Okay, in this video we want to establish the Laplace transformation of a power of t. So in other words, we want to show that the Laplace transformation of t to the n is equal to n factorial over s to the n plus 1. So let's re just recall a Laplace transformation uh, of a function that's defined on the interval 0 to infinity is given by the following integral. So f of s is equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the minus st f of t dt, and we gener generally write this L of f equals capital F. Okay, good. So uh, let's look at the proof. So we'll do this by induction. And um, I'll just point towards the base case, which was on a previous video. And I'll put base cases because we actually checked n equals 0 and 1 um, on a previous video. Okay, good. So now let's make an induction hypothesis. So that means we want to suppose for k bigger than 1, we have, so k bigger than or equal to 1, we have the Laplace transform of t to the k is equal to uh, k factorial over s to the k plus 1. So that's our induction hypothesis. And then the next thing we want to look at is we want to calculate the Laplace transform of t to the k plus 1 and make sure it holds the same form. And it will, and we'll do that by integration by parts, as we'll see. Okay, so this is equal to the antiderivative, sorry, the integral from 0 to infinity of t to the k plus 1 times e to the minus st dt. Okay, so now we're going to attack this with one step of integration by parts. So let's let u equal t to the k plus 1, and then we'll let dv equal e to the minus st dt. So that's going to give us du equals k plus 1 t to the k dt. Good. And then that's going to let that's going to allow v to be equal to minus 1 over s e to the minus st. Okay, great. Now we can uh, use our integration by parts formula. So that'll be u uh, times s. So Sorry, u times v. So that will be minus t to the k plus 1 over s e to the minus st. And we're evaluating that from 0 to infinity. So I'll play it a little fast and loose here, but you can re review something from calculus 2 to uh, um, see what will happen with this bit. And then we have minus a negative v du, and so notice we've got a negative built in there, so that's going to give us uh, plus uh, k plus 1 over s times the integral from 0 to infinity of t to the k e to the minus st dt. Okay, good. But now we notice that all of this is going to go to zero, again by calculus two, so I'll just talk you through it. So if you plug zero in, obviously the exponential part is one, the t part is uh, zero. Now if you plug infinity in, it's like taking a limit where you have t to the k plus one in the numerator and e to the st in the denominator, but you know the exponential is going to win by repeated applications of L'Hopital's rule, so that's all going to go to zero. Okay, good. Now let's look at this bit. By our induction hypothesis, we can replace this integral with uh, this term right here. So this is equal to k plus 1 over s times k factorial over s to the k plus 1. Good. But notice that gives us the exact form that we want. Now we have k plus 1 factorial over s to the k plus 2. Which means we've proven this formula that we wanted to using mathematical induction, and this is the end of the proof.